be delusional. Now this kind of advice may seem counterintuitive, may seem funny or may seem unrealistic but it's important for you to be delusional if you want to create something magical in your life or if you want to create the love of your life for romantic relationship also the dream life let's talk about this thing hey guys welcome i'm parshvika on this channel we talk a lot about feminine energy self-improvement topic relationship stuff manifestation stuff we talk all about this topic if you're interested give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for more such videos okay let's talk about why is it important to be delusional but oh yeah i forget before that we have a female self-care planner if you're interested the link is in description it's a pdf download you can also very well check out the feminine energy and the masculine energy short mini course talking about these two energies and how you could balance it and use it in your favor the links are in description anyways guys let's talk about why you need to be delusional and why i mean why I'm saying to be delusional in the first case, okay? If you talk about the manifestation, we create our reality, we create all that stuff, and all that stuff you might have here come across, you pushed out as above, so below, as within, so without, whatever, all these codes, and these are all true, and these are actually telling you to be delusional. And I'm not telling you to be delusional and tell people that, oh, I feel this way, or I see this way, and they were like, what's happening? Are you crazy? Are you going mad? Do you have some mental disorders or something like that? You don't need to go and tell the people about that. But you have to be delusional about the things that you like. Focus on your imagination. If you like to imagine and visualize the things that you want to have in your life or you need like to affirm, whatever it is. Don't be too realistic looking at the 3D and seeing that this is the only real thing that because I can feel it or I can experience this reality from my five senses. So that means this is the only reality. No. This is the reality created by you when you were in your mind before this, okay? The past version of you created this reality right now that you are in. The past version actually think about that, were delusional about this reality in their mind. That's why they were able to get, create this particular reality. Now, majority of the people do it subconsciously. Everybody visualize, everybody imagine. You can't do anything in your life without thinking first in your mind. If you think that I need to go and cook the food, you're gonna have the visual in your mind about the kitchen, about the utensils, about what you're gonna cook, how it's gonna look like, what you're gonna put in the food, the vegetables and all that stuff. It's gonna come within your mind first and then you're gonna go and cook the food, right? Makes sense. So when it comes to being delusional, it means that you are in your mind visualizing about the things, imagining about the things, kind of like a daydreaming, lucid dreaming about the things that you want in your life. We do all this subconsciously all the time. We do that. In fact, we also dream in our sleep where we doesn't have that much of control, but we do do that in our dreams as well when we sleep. We are the magical beings. Yes, whether you like to believe in that concept or not, but that's the truth. You can't do anything in this world without first thinking or visualizing in your mind. Okay, so you're going to think in your mind first and then you're going to do it. So why not think about the things that you like it or you want it? And yeah, it may seem unrealistic, but the kind of the life that you're living right now is also part of the versions of you that created them in the, uh, in the past. And that's why you're living right now. So being realistic, focusing too much on the 3D reality is not going to help you get what you want. It's going to be keeping you stuck wherever you are because it's going to recreate the same thing over and over again. There is nothing new coming. So if you want what you want or you want something new, you got to be thinking and imagining and visualizing and being that person who already have those things. For that, being in your head, living in your imagination is a great thing and that's part of the delusion. Now the word is very cliche, it's like, oh, delusion means very crazy feelings or crazy madness or something like that, a magical or a witch's thing or something like that. No, everybody has a magical power. In fact, everybody has a psychic ability. Everybody is a witch. Yes, now you won't, you do, you won't agree with me, but everybody has the power. It's just that some people think that they doesn't have the power and that's why they were never able to use their power because they think that they don't have the power and that's why they don't able to see the power because law of attraction is like very very true to you whatever you say it obeys and also the case of the universe whatever you say it obeys so if you say you don't have a power you don't have a power simple if you say the law of attraction doesn't work for you yes it doesn't work for you it obeys what you say you gotta believe in that 
If you don't want to believe it, it's your choice. But everybody is awake. Everybody has the power. So why not be delusion? Why not just we see being delusion only in the movies when they dream about when an athletic or athlete dream about winning a gold medal in their in their profession or when a businesswoman starting with a business dream about their businesses thinking about their businesses on the big success they are delusional everybody is delusional if you even if you don't understand that do realize that they are delusional i can say that but why not be delusional about the things that you like you can see the people who have the great successes in the world are the people who are amazing delusion they imagine they visualize things before actually happen in the 3d and they live in that imagination and that's why it come into the 3d because inner worlds and the outer worlds are interconnected with each other they can't go separately whatever you assume whatever you see whatever you feel in the inner world it's have to realize in the external world sooner or later it has to realize it so why not do it intentionally why not be intentionally delusion everybody is a delusion you might see that everybody do the crazy stuff that other people see it's like what the heck are you doing why you do this way and they're like they give you the reason oh i do this thing in this way but for you it's like ah uh, i don't need to do this thing this way i'm going to do it this way you find other people's behavior methods thinking and all that stuff as a delusion as a crazy and other people find your method of thinking and doing things or acting in a certain way as delusion or crazy so everybody is a delusion <laughs> in fact the people who have the great success in their life whether it's a business whether it's an athletic career or a celebrity or whatever you see are the people that are great great visualizers imaginator great manifestors and also the great delusional people they see the success first before it actually realize in the 3d and yes people talk about don't daydream do, do, don't dream about the things it's never going to happen you have to be realistic now dream about the things that you want be delusion be unrealistic because it's going to realize in 3d so that's why i said all this thing hopefully it makes sense for you let me know what do you think about this topic share your experience your comments in the comment section below thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you the next time bye guys